Welcome back to Pirate Studios. Today I thought we'd do something cool. I thought I would show you how I write a song sometimes. Um, I'm going to show you this cool tool that you can use to help inspire you write a song. I was on YouTube looking for some MIDI files for some melodies that I could use to help write a song and I thought, hey, I wonder if there's any drum midis. So I searched that and I found this guy named Devin James, Iron Stronghold Productions. He not only sells drum midis that you can buy the WAV files for, whole songs, or just the MIDI files, and you can drag them into what I've done is um, ML Sound Labs um, ML drums, which are pretty awesome. Um, and so I was up there on YouTube and I heard a couple of his free wave whole songs. Uh, one of them, the first one's called Alternative Metal. And as soon as I heard it, it inspired me to, you know, it has no music, it's just drums. It inspired me to, uh, it inspired a riff in my head. And it, it wasn't the exact one that I'm gonna play for you. Um, it, it was close, but then I jammed it a few times and come up with it. And then um, I thought, well, the next part needs to be this. So what I did was I took it and I cut the actual drum wave. He, he, he lets you download it as a wave file. I cut it up the way I wanted in the arrangement that I wanted. And I wrote, it's just an intro and a verse. And um, it's in drop B and I played it on my seventh string. And um, I was listening to a lot of, well, I still have been, a lot of Crowbar and a lot of Kingdom of Sorrow. And so, like I said, it's in drop B. Um, the first song is called Doom Talica. Um, it's, you'll see why. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the cool drum stuff, and I'm going to leave uh, links in the description so you can download the free ones. And you can also purchase some of the ones. He's got some good packs out there. You can get, like, Groove Metal, um, and then, like, just like classic heavy metal I'm, I'm i'm butchering the titles so i apologize but the they will be correct in the description um but i purchased those and uh he's a good dude and um so i'm gonna leave those in the description and i'm also going to show you a badass guitar tone that i created on my own and the amp is nimbrini audio and um i'm using a IR that I've had. Anyway, I'm going to show it to you. Stick around. If we go to the doll here, this one's called um, Alternative Metal and it's on the YouTube channel. And it was arranged in a certain way. And I, when I first heard it, this is what I heard. So that's what I heard, and I come up with this riff. Now, I'm not going to lie and say I come up with the riff perfectly. I came up with something that was close to what I finally got with, and I just jammed it a few times. And what I did was I cut it out and, and copied and pasted the track the way, he, and cut it out from what he had and made it into what I wanted. And it's, it was pretty cool. So here's the guitar. I'm going to play the guitar riff. Um, I'm going to actually, I'm going to do a playthrough. Oh, and it's called, I was listening to a lot of Crowbar and Kingdom of Sorrow, both Kirk Winstein, and so it's pretty, this is guitars in drop B, so it's pretty heavy, so...
say that. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's just super heavy. So um, I made the riff and I also had the idea for the verse. Um, the verse was, I wanted the sound of a riot and someone on a megaphone. So what I did was I found, I went online and I found a uh, sound of a riot that was recorded. And I'll play that for you. And I'll add it in just as a wave. Then I thought it needs the megaphone. So I recorded it and I'll let you hear that. So what do we got going here? Um, first of all, always I learned from Glenn Fricker always mix in your master so master chain this is what I got we're gonna go through them I'm gonna bypass two of them okay so the first one I've got is the Abbey Road mastering plug-in this is just their board this is a recreation of their of the board that's at Abbey Road Studios so here it is with it. And then here it is with it. And I just put it on. It's pretty stupid. Stupid, easy. That's the cool thing about Waves plugins. Slate plugins are good too, but they're more expensive. I got this for 30 bucks. So $29.99 if you wait for certain times of the year. Actually, it's very often. And so I just go to the first preset, and it's called Glue Punch, and it just does a great job. And then the second one is I run it through this, the Chris Lord Algae board. Basically, it's his mixing board, and this is what he does. I saw him do that. Uh, Chris Lord Algae himself runs the stuff first through the Abbey Road and then into his. And right default, it's on um, Start Me Up. And so I'm going to start it off without it, and I'll kick it in. And it it just adds a little bit of, puts a, a, everything, everything under control just a little bit more. Then last, I've got this. This is the L1 Plus Multi or Ulti Maximizer, Ultra Maximizer. And I've got each one of those. Each one of these plugins were thirty each, so that's a lot of money. But they're normally like a hundred and something each. So um, this this is what I use when I want to get stuff at CD quality volume. Um, it doesn't make it hit the compression too hard. It just brings it up to the volume perfect. And with this preset, True Peak, and here it is without it, and I'll kick it in, and you can hear how much louder it gets. Really loud. Let's, let's turn that down. Cool. So, there's that one. Like I said, that's called Doom Talica. Hopefully, we'll have the whole song coming out sometime in the future, near future. Sure. This next one is called Kingdom. These are just working titles. So, this is um, one called Canon. Uh, it's Groove Variation. This one's from Devin also. And, um... This one I'm running, it's just a MIDI, and I'm running into ML drums, which is uh, 
ML Sound Lab, and wow, I, I don't know if this is still thirty dollars, but what an awesome drum plug-in! It's on the metal core setting right here, and I um, it's just on SD for um, Superior Drummer. Anyway, so um, this isn't sponsored, by the way. Just this, this just an awesome. So here, anyway, here's the drums. Uh, part of it, the way I heard it, and then I cut it up, and you'll hear it. And then there was another uh, song that I got from him called Vampire. I believe I paid for this one. I think I paid for both of these. I'm not sure. But they worked together. They were the same BPM, I believe. I just continued, I just extended it right here to go longer for what I wanted. This is, it's intro and verse, that's all it is. So let's do a playthrough. Yeah, yeah. It's in drop B also, it's just the same, the same thing. <laughs> Save. That's so groovy and so awesome. Ugh. Cool, so let's check out what we got. The guitar tone is still the same, and I haven't shown it to you, now I'm going to. Boop. First, um, on the guitar, I've got this overdrive pedal. This is absolutely free. Um, Mercurial, and I'm going to link it down in the description, along with all of Devin's drum stuff, with the exact tracks that I used that are free. And I'll send you the link to his website, and you can purchase whatever MIDI's. I highly recommend it. They work with any um, they work with any drum program VST. So I've got this as the overdrive pedal, and I've got it just at eleven o'clock, ten o'clock, yeah, eleven o'clock, and level at one o'clock. I just leave the tone there in eight oh eight, and then here is the amp. This is Nimbrini Audio. This is uh, the sound called Sound Master. It's based off the Fender Tone Master. And you wouldn't think of it as a heavy amp, but boy, when you add that overdrive pedal, obviously it is. So this is my settings. I got gain at 7, treble at 7, bass at 8, mid at 6, volume is at 2.5, almost 3. These are down. These aren't on. On fat, no. Nope. And then um, you can go to cabinet this comes with the IR cabinet impulse response with or you can load your own so this comes with a tweed um, that looks like a Vox then it's 30 um, and then there's a thin twin a fender twin reverb and there's another vintage 30 I don't know what it is and there's a rectifier cab that's finished 30 there's an orange vintage 30 and then it's got several mics. This is a 421, or you can select, um, you got the 57 or a ribbon or a condenser. 
Yeah, four different ones. So this is at uh, on a 421 and a ribbon 121. And you can put them on off axis if you want. You can change the mic position, the distance. Down here is just is your EQ section of your amp. In case that way you don't have to have the you don't have to have it like go back to that every time. You've got it down here. And then you've got a mixer down here, which I don't ever mess with. So you can turn the different volumes of your mics up if you want. And then you've got your own, it comes with a gate, um, so you don't really need one, even even though they have, Nimbrini has a free gate that's really good. And then you've got rumbling and harsh, just adjust that with your ears however you want. But this is what I did. To get this tone, I didn't use this. I brought my own impulse. It's a rectifier 57 with a 57, which is a vintage 30. Here's the guitar all by itself. Yeah, so that impulse, I got it off the internet for free. I don't remember where I got it, so if anybody knows where it came from, please let me know. <laughs> but if you want it, I'm going to give it to you in the link of the description for free because I got it for free, so it's obviously free somewhere. So I'm going to give you the link to that in my Google Drive so you can get that guitar tone, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I believe that's it. So, yeah. Um, like I said, the guitar is a seven string. It's in drop B. Um, I'm going to link the drum stuff in the description, the free video links um, to the free audio uh, drum stuff, and the link to his website where you can purchase his drum midis. He's got a free pack up there, too. You can get it and try some of his stuff out. Also, I'm going to leave the link to Nimbrini Audio where you can get the amp. And I'm going to have a special 80% uh, off link, good for one time for one user each, just for my viewers that I got from Nimbrini. And I'm going to leave the link to the free IR that I used in this video so you can get this badass tone. Um, it's good. I just keep coming back to it. It's just a great IR. I got it for free somewhere. So I'm going to give it to everybody else for free too. Uh, I'll leave a link to my drive for that so you can get it. It's it's a SM57 on a on a vintage 30. I think it's a rectifier. Anyway, it's awesome. Thanks for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button. See you next time.